Well, let's go ahead and get started. We have 70 participants um, logged on now. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to our workshop on atmospheric challenges for the wind energy industry. Um, we've been working hard to assemble a, uh, a workshop that has all the right people. Um, thank you so much for being part of this. We're looking forward to lots of conversation. The purpose of this workshop is to discuss the future of atmospheric modeling research for wind energy. And it's sponsored by DOE's um, Atmospheric to Electrons program, the, the team that is called the Mesoscale to Microscale Coupling Team. And what we hope to do today is to promote conversation between the research community and industry regarding wind energy modeling research needs. We expect to hear from industry regarding their current modeling plans for the future and their perception of what research is needed. We expect to have lots of presentations of the current state mm. of atmospheric modeling and we would like to forge a dialogue that will inform future research in atmospheric and oceanic modeling for wind energy. So we've assembled an agenda that includes a lot, that includes a mix of panels and breakout groups. We will beginning, be beginning by hearing from DOE experts themselves uh, in an introduction by Bob Marley, Director of Wind Energy Technology Office. We'll move to a panel of folks, uh, at a combination of folks at DOE who are making the decisions to foster the research. I'll give an overview of some of the research our team has been doing. Um, we'll have an industry panel where we'll have visioning talks by some visionaries in the industry. And then later in the morning, we'll have breakout groups. And this morning's breakout groups uh, will be configured based on the answers you gave as you were filling out the registration forms. We'll have four breakout groups with uh, a series of questions that the moderators will use to help guide the conversation. Then the full group will come back at 1130 for a full group conversation and will be done by noon mountain time. And we realize we have people from around the world here. So excuse me for referring to mountain time where I live here in Boulder, Colorado. Tomorrow is going to be equally interesting. And day one focused on visioning. Day two is going to talk about more details of the types of modeling that we do. We'll be starting off with a panel on offshore wind modeling opportunities and challenges. It, the keynote will be given by Charlotte Bay Hassinger and Jali Gu Larson of Danish Technical University. Then we'll be moving into a series of talks by both researchers and industry people on some of the topics that we're addressing to model for the wind <coughs> Then panel two tomorrow morning, we'll talk about modeling challenges. This panel will focus on uncertainty issues and how can we improve modeling to mitigate some of that uncertainty and to deal with the uncertainty that, that will remain. Then tomorrow's breakouts, you'll have a choice of which breakout you want to join. And you should have all received an email, or if you just registered since last night, you'll receive one later today with the Zoom information for these parallel sessions. One on the details of downscaling, another on modeling for turbines, and a third on using artificial intelligence and machine learning for atmospheric and oceanic modeling. How can we uh, you know, where, is, where are we going in the future? Where should we be going in the future? Each of these breakout sessions tomorrow will begin with a series of three to four talks. 
to motivate what it what these topics are about, but then have lots of time uh, for interesting conversation around those topics. So we really hope that you participate in these breakouts as well. And again, you get to choose which breakout tomorrow. So keep hold of the email that you should have received with the Zoom uh, links. Also in, uh, you know, in, in this email, we'll be showing the Zoom links right before we go into the parallel session tomorrow as well. So for some logistics, we ask everybody to keep yourself muted. We have 97 people on right now. So um, we have allowed people to talk and we want you to um, be able to, to give your feedback, especially in the breakout rooms, et cetera. But with that many people, we need you to keep muted while the presenters are talking. When you have a question that you'd like the moderator to notice, the moderators for each of the panels will be monitoring the chat function. So just type your question in the chat. Now, occasionally we understand that uh, you know, we may be nearing the end and you think you have a very relevant question, not quite enough time to type it. So if you want to raise your hand, the, mon the, the uh, moderators will also be looking for the raise hand um, for, for those sessions for the Q&A as well. So we really do expect this to be a conversation between the researchers and the industry folks. We really would like to hear from the participants. Yes, there will be a lot of presentations on state of the science modeling um, but, and on, on the vision of the panelists, but we want to get your vision as well. 